Hi everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window Life. I am so happy you are here. This is so exciting. I hope you had a wonderful week and you're looking forward to an amazing weekend. Yes? Yes? Just like me. Guess what? Tonight my family is coming to town. My children are going to be here. And I'm so excited about it because I didn't see my daughter Dauphina for quite a few months and I'm so looking forward to see her and of course my son-in-law George. So I'm super excited. But speaking of excitement, guess what? Last weekend we didn't see you on Friday because we traveled to Pennsylvania and from Pennsylvania we made our way to Washington DC where we celebrate one of our dear, dear friends uh, uh, finishing his service for this country in the Navy and retired. Oh my gosh, guys, I've never in my life experienced anything so incredible. I got to stand and watch this incredible couple that dedicated 22 years to the service to our country. And I'm saying a couple because behind a good man, there is always a good woman. So our friend Cindy, walk down with her husband and finish the service and I was just so proud of her. Of course, could not help myself. We had to celebrate with a quilt. You know me, your birthday, you get a quilt, wedding quilt, uh, just because quilt. And for this occasion, I got some time together and created a beautiful beautiful quilt for them. I used a pattern called Dallas and I showed you last before I left the quilt. I add those beautiful eight point stars around the border. The quilt came out so lovely. Cindy hold it to the quilt so tight. She absolutely loved it. Uh, Dallas, his smile was just so beautiful. He enjoyed it and I wanted to name the pattern Dallas after Dallas because I want us to remember his name and every time you purchase a pattern or you look at this pattern you remember him and in, in your heart please say a prayer say a thank you for the service that they have done to our country. The weekend was full of surprises one of another favorite things that I got to experience was to spend time with Cindy's family. Her children are just incredible. Her whole family, mother-in-law, father-in-law, uh, her mom, her dad, and extended family. There was just, just so much joy, incredible. Also, I got to see some of Laundry Basket girl, uh, Quilt's girls. Some of the Navy wives that works with us, used to work with us, they either work remotely or um, they uh, no longer work with us, but we still are friends. We got to get together at that retirement and we took a beautiful picture together. It was just splendid. I had such a, such a good time. Can't even tell you guys, it was amazing. Well, that weekend was just full of such a beautiful things. And I know even Michael and Dustin that went with us, Aaron, myself, Michael and Dustin, the four of us went from the office. The guys took a minute, hold on to the quilt. We took some pictures. It was a, just a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I will remember and treasure forever. And I just wanna once again, first of all, thank Dallas for his service. I get to enjoy the freedoms and everything that is so incredible about this country because of men like Dallas, men and women like Dallas and their families. So thank you, thank you, Dallas and Cindy and uh, Presley and Tucker. You guys are incredible family and thank you. You have just uh, shared with me a special moment that I would treasure for forever. So thank you, thank you for that. Um, Today, we have a packed show for you guys. You have asked questions about mystery. You have asked questions about what's new and we do have new things. And you know our little contest, we're gonna be play playing and we're gonna be winning. So stay tuned, pay attention. I have so many incredible things for you. First of all, on the table, once again, our 4th of July quilts, our patriotic quilts. I cannot make enough of them. And we have a 
little cute new addition to our patriotic quilts. You know our Virginia star pattern? You ask for the jelly roll version and we have a new kit for that one, but you also ask if we could do this smaller and guess what my friend debbie put a little fire under me and we did it we have a smaller uh, version of that quilt it's a mini quilt it's only 28 by 28 it is so cute i am just so delighted with it and i'm so thankful for my friend debbie that pushed along to get that done so thank you thank you thank you but we have so many beautiful patterns i'm going to talk to you about it i'm going to show you one more time coco pink the swad it's uh we have the pre-cuts but just around the corner we have a brand new arrival is the coco blue it's coming in in just few weeks and i want you to get a little preview we just got that first round of bolts that we get to look at it and get samples made with it but i couldn't help myself i wanted to cut some to show you today so that way you can enjoy it and this fat eight bundle from our coco blue one of our door prizes today so stay tuned and watch the show we have a beautiful quilt called trip around the island and with this quilt i want to show you the new kit then guess what in the end of the show we have a special on some of our pre-cut kits you want to please please watch the whole show so you can see what the specials are and on my table i also have our mystery so that way we can go ahead and look at the block that we have made it this week our beautiful pinny block made with eight point stars so i uh, uh, with 45 degree diamonds there is not an eight point star there's just three diamonds to it and that one is just beautiful. So I wanna to talk to you about how to cut, how to trim, and just how you guys are doing on it. I think you're having fun. We only have two more weeks of this mystery and it's gonna be all just put together and a beautiful, I cannot wait to show you the whole design. I think you're gonna be really, really surprised and very, very happy with the results. So, and once again, we did all different color options. And just a little secret, one of the color options may be perfect for 4th of July. So keep making your blocks, keep doing it. If you're just joining us in for the mystery, go to the mystery housekeeping, join us in. We still have some bundles. We have all the tools, all the patterns, everything is available on our website. Thank you to everyone that is making the quilt, posting the pictures, I'm thrilled. All right, so that's what we're gonna do today. And I'm gonna show you one more time our fabric club because guess what? You guys loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. If you are not part of our fabric club, you have to join us. And I just finished the pattern for the next month fabric club. Yes, you heard it right. If you join our fabric club with the fabric, we always include cute little goodies, but we also include a pattern this month and we're gonna do the same thing next month to show you how to use those fat quarters into a beautiful design. And I have something fun and simple, something that you're gonna love it. So let's start a show and let's have some fun. I'm gonna begin, oh, my basket is close to me. And yes, I also have a new quilt to show you. So stay tuned. I just glance, it's hanging right here. I'm hiding it. So we're going to start with the Coco Pink collection. We do have all the pre-cuts. This is the charm pack. They're five inch squares. They are 42 squares in a charm pack and they're just beautiful. The Coco Pink collection, it's a great combination of pink, burgundies reds just going beautifully together and a beautiful taupes and browns that accent this gorgeous sham of colors so this is the charm pack there are five inch squares 42 pieces in it then the next one that i want to share with you is this beautiful color uh, uh, pre-cut this one is the coco pink layer cake layer cakes are 10 inch squares you get four times the fabric that, that you, you get, get it in the charm pack and yes you can always cut it and make four charm pack squares five inch squares out of the 10 inch layer cakes i like doing that sometimes if i wanted to mix and match the fabric i just cut it and then start piecing together and this layer cake i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a trip around the world in next few shows 
out of a layer cake it is the best so stock up on the nice layer cakes because we have a fun thing happening so i cannot wait for you to do it so again 42 squares 10 inch they are just beautiful i love those browns cocos accents with this beautiful pinks and um burgundy that's so beautiful so that's layer cakes actually i'm gonna put them close to me because i'm gonna need some door prizes for today i totally forgot it we're gonna have a cute little contest we also have beautiful fat eights in a fat eight bundle you have every piece from the collection they're so nice fat eights are nine inch by 20 to 21 inches width and those are just the great bundles to look to see um, what fabrics are in it and they can make a beautiful you can make a beautiful quilt with it my personal favorites are the fat quarters look at this isn't that gorgeous the fat quarters are just so nice because it gives you enough fabric to make a lovely quilt get some blocks done and yes I'm getting ready to show you guys some MOA patterns that are perfect with fat quarters so I want to do a show for you where we have a, a fat quarter friendly uh, uh, fat eight friendly patterns I think you guys would really really like that one of our best selling kits for that collection was our trip around the island cocoa pink isn't that lovely that pattern is just beautiful we have a pattern that goes with it so that trip around the world it is just lovely so that is just uh, available on our website it is beautiful we have few of those left so if you want to please get it what we did special in this kit we included the border fabric we included two and a half yards so you don't have to piece it you just got a one big long strip and that way your design goes all the way around the quilt it is very very nice so our trip around the world one of our beautiful kits new kit brand 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 new i went and go went through our beautiful fabrics that we have i always love trip around the world and next month we're gonna be doing quite a bit about trip around the world so i'm trying to get your interest in it trip around the uh the island and it's scrappy the design calls trip around the world this pattern calls trip around the island because coincident when i was writing the pattern i was on an island and i thought how fun and exciting and the first pattern that i ever did was with fabric called aloha now can you put the two together trip around the island aloha i must have been where that is going to be one of your questions maybe you pay attention so right there this trip around the island scrappy has stunning fabrics gorgeous 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 so look at this this is the sham and what i love about this kit notice it every single fabric is marked with the stickers so you know exactly where to position that fabric because the recipe tells you which fabric is number one to 22 and we have 22 fabrics in this beautiful beautiful kit this is what it gives that gorgeous waves of colors and i love the light because that gives you really nice movement then what i did is i included beautiful binding look at that binding right there oh this is not a binding i'm so sorry this is your setting triangle this is your triangles your binding is this gorgeous green right here but what i included for this kit three different options for a border so if you want a dark cocoa brown border we got you if you would love to have a beautiful light border we have the two or maybe you want a little bit of a pink in your background in a border and we have that as well so this kid come with the option of a different border so you have to go to our website look at that option pay attention to your border if you want the light one click on that kid if you want the dark one click on that kid but it is beautiful this binding goes perfectly with any one of the borders so binding is the same and this beautiful burgundy that i taught this kit we had another brand 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 new kit that we added to our website and this has something to do with your cocoa pink this is 
Virginia Star Jelly Roll and this design we did it in a cocoa pink fabrics and we just listed a brand new kit and what I did is I included two jelly rolls in the kit two of them so all your strips are done pre-cut you just have to cut them to sections you have plenty of lights you have plenty of darks you have your accents and then we have the two other fabrics this one is your background and this one is your binding so this kit it is so beautiful and what i love about this quilt is 74 by 74 so it covers your bed beautifully if you want to you can add a floral border to it we have plenty of cocoa pink fabrics on our website and enjoy 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 so that one really really special i love that so kit number one was trip around the island kit number two virginia star jelly roll and we have a, a third kit that i am saving for a little bit later to show you more about it but i'm just gonna tease you right now with it guess what you have loved and asked for this kit for so long we just created for 4th of july our alaska 4th of july kit so it's a blue and red it is beautiful so that's this kit right here it's completely pre-cut for you guys i'm gonna talk to you about this one in just a little bit so we have three brand new kits i'm gonna move this kit out of my way save it for myself for later but i know you are excited about our coco blue let's look at this coco blue collection isn't that beautiful the bundle that i just took into my hands is our fat um eight bundle and i chose that one to showcase you the fabrics because i wanted to make sure that i can show you a bigger pieces look at how beautiful this fabric is oh i love it there are 28 pieces in this gorgeous collection and every piece it is just stunning if you want a fussy cut a blue and white quilt if you're doing english paper piecing this one would be so good for you so beautiful i love this big print on a beautiful dark background i also have it down here on a light background just wait i can wait to show you but let's just talk about those little accent pieces how beautiful they are look at this all of those gorgeous pieces just floating one to the other so many beautiful beautiful blues and i love the cocoa brown with the blue it warms up it makes the fabrics really nice and your projects your quilts almost look vintage because of that really nice creamy background all the touch of cocoa with it look at how pretty this one is oh this isn't that beautiful and then you have those happy polka dot and this is one of my favorites i have so many favorites in this collection i cannot tell you how happy i am how beautiful this fabric came out this is stunning look at this isn't that gorgeous the delicate accent Andover does the best fabric i'm telling you the detail the design everything the color we put so much work into it and Andover team is just amazing to work with so look at all of those gorgeous pieces and now we're moving into those brown and taupes and i love that sometimes you don't want to like white white light background you want something more simple little tea dye and i think this one or should i call it coco dye and um, this one would be perfect look at that blue with the brown in this piece ah oh, that's so good and we finish right here with one of my personal favorites so i'm gonna roll this beautifully back up and save it on the side because somebody is going to win this gorgeous fat eight bundle did you like that so this is fat quarters we're gonna have fat quarters we're gonna have fat eights and half yard cuts we are not listing them yet i'm just showing you this collection this should be on our website next two weeks so after 4th of july you're gonna see some of this fabric please please come back and we're gonna be showing you more of this collection just so you enjoy it we have ordered plenty of the big pieces so if you want something like this for your borders 
perfect and I'm going to be showing you all of the patterns. We have dozens of patterns that come out with this collection. I recolor some all the designs that you love it, but also create a brand new design. Our blue star is to die for. We're going to have a pre-cut kit for that one. Just wait. I'm going to start pulling all the patterns, showing you the projects. You're going to love, 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 love those. So that is our Coco Blue. I'm so excited for that one. Let's talk about some of the patterns that we have right now for 4th of July. So just to review, all of the patterns are on our website and I'm super excited for you guys for this little Virginia Star, the mini pattern. It's so cute. Now you can make a smaller 28 inch project for your table topper or Debbie, my friend that is just so excited about this, she already uh, said, oh, what about if I make multiple of the smaller and then sew it together? The star is very, very pretty in a smaller size. So really, I love you guys to come up and see if you want to do that one. This is beautiful. Next one is Dallas and you sew it how quickly by just adding a little red to the quilt. I made a patriotic quilt so many times just by adding a binding or maybe one round of the fabric should be in red you get a really good beautiful patriotic quilt now my personal favorite this is our bestseller made in USA for many many years we have been using this pattern not only for our quilts but also for a pillow I made one of those quilts for one of my navy wives for the wedding she loved it and um, my quilt, I made it and you guys were so kind and signed it back for me. Now, table runners are always a good for a quick project. And we have those three designs in this pattern, Coast 4 of July Trio. Then Freedom Star is the newest addition to our beautiful, beautiful patterns. And guess what? We got the quilt top finish. Oops. We got the quilt top finish. I had a low chair behind me. I didn't even know it. Look at this. Isn't that splendid? That is so beautiful. I am so proud. Alexis have been working on this one and she did incredible job. Isn't that stunning? Look at this. Look at this. Isn't that so beautiful? I'm going to look at it for a few minutes and see if I'm going to add a border to it or leave it as is. Many of my patterns don't have borders on them because that gives you the freedom of if you want to add a border, great. Maybe you want to just have the uh, center of the design. But this one, I think I'm going to add a border and I'm thinking, I may be going to have to wait a little bit for my border because this beautiful, beautiful fabric from our Coco Blue. Wow, I cannot tell you how excited I'm getting just thinking about it. And look at this. What I would do is I would cut my borders that I have majority of lights and then the darker goes to this side. And look at this. Look what just happened to the quilt. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I cannot wait. I'm going to be getting a bolt just for my stash of this fabric because for all my blue and white quilts, this border is going to be a knockout. And if you want to go a little darker, absolutely, we got it. And look what happened. You could go ahead this time, cut your border through maybe closer to the flowers. And that way it looks like it's spilling and gives you a really nice dark frame. Isn't it lovely? And look at how nice it matches with everything that I have in here. Because guess what? I designed the fabric. I make sure that the colors match. And when you get a kit from us, all those beautiful fabrics are right. Oh, this is Liberty Star. So that's a different kit. Oh, Freedom Star is right here. So if you get the fabrics, all those beautiful blues are back there. They're going to match the reds. And this is going to work really, really nice together. So you can get a kit start working on it when this fabric comes in maybe you want to do what i'm going to do wait for it get the fabric and put the border around isn't that stunning that is the freedom star kits we do have them on our website so if you would like to have one please go ahead visit our website and 
enjoy 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 the other star uh, that i have here is the liberty star and i'm wonder if i have pulled that quilt oh erin can you so kindly give me the liberty star is right there guys that one was so much fun to make we do have kits for this one i don't have the pattern on my table but erin oh erin come 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 closer i know you're not prepared <laughs> but guys Please remember to wish Erin happy birthday if you uh, call in our studio. Happy birthday, oh, sweetheart. Thank you. It's Erin's birthday. So we are celebrating, <laughs> celebrating, celebrating. Oh, thank We're you. so thankful for you, Erin. I didn't want to embarrass you, but I <sighs> want to take a chance and pull you right in here so the girls say hi to you and guys. So um, this is the Liberty Star. Look at this. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh. Isn't that lovely? I love this quilt. And this one is made with our Alaska ruler. And again, guess what? You want a nice border? This fabric from our brand new Coco Blue collection could be a perfect border for this quilt as well. Go visit our website. We have so many amazing, beautiful things. I'm gonna put this fabric to the side and keep going with those lovely oh no i do have a liberty star i thought i didn't have the pattern on my table but look at how beautiful this design is so that's the kit and the quilt that i just showed you liberty star now our perfect union the best i love the simple ohio stars just complement be with beautiful red lock cabin strips so lovely and then sparklers could be that perfect picnic uh, quilt for your family to enjoy during the 4th of July. So those are some of our 4th of July patterns. I'm gonna put them to the side because I'm making room. I wanna show you some of our mystery quilt. But before we get to that, I have a few more things on this side of the table for you guys. So hen house pillow, I had it in my basket last show and i forgot it and so many of you like you didn't say anything about this cute little chickens yes i love making smaller projects and pillows are my perfect canvas to display my projects and i love this little hen house um uh, pillow there is a uh, beautiful pattern everything is in it and yes we do have kids that are just gorgeous look at that hen house isn't it beautiful this fabric on the back is what you're going to put on the back of your pillow very simple easy to do it if you want to try some applique this is the maybe perfect time to do it and i've done mine with fusible applique and uh, I would like you to see if you would like to try hot fix adhesive. This is a really good fusible uh, webbing. We have been carrying this for quite a while and I just love, love, love. It gives you really nice results. So that is the hen house. And you know, uh, sometimes if you want to teach somebody how to do things, you maybe want to choose a smaller project like the our uh, hen house pillow because that way you guys are not taking on too big of a project and speaking of applique i'm gonna be sharing that with you in our uh few next of our mystery quilts it's not next week the week after we'll be doing some applique just wait i'm so excited for you guys so those are just few of the project now let's talk about our um pre-cut kits I love pre-cut kits. They're so easy to use. You get a box, you open the box, everything is beautifully packed for you. And then you go ahead and start putting the pieces together. We always have like a little chart inside so you can look at which pieces go where. If you ever get lost, just email us at laundrybasketquilts.com. We will help you with anything you needed. And many of our pre-cut kits, we have videos that you can watch and learn. For example, for our Alaska, we have beautiful videos and this kit is brand new. We add a red to it into the blue design and it's just so, so nice. So if you wanted to, those just went on our website. They're not on sale this weekend. We have other kits that are on sale. I'm gonna share them with you in a moment, but this is brand new and we do only have limited amount of them. So if you want it, it's exact the fabrics that are in the picture. So go to the website, click on that picture, make sure that they're just what you want and then we will take care of it. Make sure we get it to you after you press 
approaches. If you're having problems with purchasing things on our website, you know that you can call us. And this incredible girl named Cindy that we just vin fin uh, visit in Washington is one of our customer service girls. So when you're calling us, make sure you say hi to our Cindy, please. And also Lisa and Veronica and Erin. So we have four wonderful, wonderful girls that take your phone calls and help you uh, be successful in your quilting by pairing you up with the perfect projects and helping you out to get them the way you want it. So please, please don't be shy. Call us anytime you want it to. Now, this is a project that we have it. It calls uh, Lady Tulip. It was one of our blocks of the month. And I believe this is one of the ones is on sale. Am I right, Erin? Which one is that? Lady Tulip. Yes. So guess what? If you want to get a discount on that, you need to go to our website and that offer is until Monday. So you have the weekend to choose your favorite one. We have three kids that are on sale right now. And this one, oh, hi, Michael. Oh, yes. Thank you, Michael. He, yes, Michael is here. He's so happy because he loves Fridays. You guys make his day. He loves taping the show and helping us. And he's making sure that you get the best quality of sound. And we're trying something new today. Did you notice? I have a microphone on me. So we're trying something new. So be patient. And um, I'm telling you, we're going to get it right. We want you guys to hear me when I uh, talk. I know my accent already throws uh, you for a loop. But I'm so thankful that you... Uh, ignore it and then um, but now Michael is gonna help us uh, be even more uh, clear online so Lady Tulip one of my favorite kits it's on sale right now six inch blocks 24 design each block you make three times you got this you got this this is so nice now another incredible kit that it's on sale right now is the harmony kit so Harmony Kid is another one. And what I love about this one, look at it. All, everything is in it, including your little needle. We have a little pack with your needle right here. So that way you can embroider uh, those beautiful words, faith, hope, love, dream, joy, and peace. Peace, What? how important it is. And look at all the fabric, everything is here. And then those are your packages with the blocks and everything is pre-cut ready for you to iron on and just stitch around the edges i love this we even include the thread for you to be able to embroider right onto it so that is the harmony kit another one that it's on special is the montana primrose montana primrose look at this beautiful kit and just for a second i'm gonna open this up as well so you see it look at this Everything is pre-cut and in a little baggies. What I love to do, I recycle my baggies for my other projects. So when I'm cutting my own quilts, I put it in my little baggies. And guess what? Block 11, block 10, they're already marked with stickers. So I can go ahead, cut it, put it in a bag. So don't throw your little baggies away. Recycle them, recycle them, recycle them. We're switching some things around. And from now on, you're going to see a paper bags for your blocks. So you're not going to be able to see the color. But I'm trying to do my best to get the plastic out of our studio so that is something we're working on so that's our montana primrose this one family tree is hanging right behind me isn't that beautiful so simple to make i know you're thinking wow this is so difficult guess what this is an applique quilt but it's done a little bit different they're not individual pieces each block is completely pre-cut for you all that you need is a background and it's a one piece all together all that you have to do place it on the background iron it and stitch with a zigzag blanket satin stitch anywhere you would like to i love this kit there's only for the center you have individual branches and a tree trunk and here there are sections of your border but otherwise 
each block is a one solid lace of beautiful applique. This is why we call them laces. When it's a one block, one piece applique, we call them laces and I just love this quilt. This is perfect quilt as a heirloom quilt if you're making for somebody super special. And again, if you want this quilt to get bigger and you need a low border, guess what? Look at this. Fabrics from uh, three, four years ago match perfectly with the fabrics that I'm designing right now. So you can easily go ahead and enjoy anything that you have in your stash that you have purchased from us. Mix and match and make your projects just beautiful. So we have three beautiful kits on sale and then another wonderful pre-cut kit that I brought it today on the table is our Enna's basket and again look at all of those beautiful blocks pre-cut ready set go for you um, for some of you uh, we need to pack them individually because I know it's harder for you to go through the pieces, match them up. So I made a point to pack everything together for you guys so you don't have problems finding the pieces. And I have to tell you, I'm not only doing this for you guys, but I'm doing this for my mothers, my mother and my mother-in-law both. They just want to open a bag and start sewing. They don't want to be looking through the pieces and mixing and matching. So I'm doing this for all of you guys enjoy 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 so we have three new kits we have three on sale right now from our pre-cut kits and the next thing that i want to share with you is once again our fabric club yes you have one more a week to be able to get this fabric club so if you are not yet in you have to join us you have to it's so much fun you can mix and match the fabrics now you're gonna have a really cool stash of all the beautiful laundry basket and it's so easy to join or if you want to stop it's easy too so just go ahead to our website sign up for our um, fabric club and you can get it with the fabric club this beautiful pattern this month called triangle delight and i love 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 this pattern just wait you see the next month pattern no i'm not showing you i promise you that i'm not gonna show it often sometimes i have to because so many of you like i want to see it before i sign so it's a you know i'm a little stuck there but then i know some of you don't want to see your fabrics before you get a fabric club so close your eyes don't look and next to me i kept the two lovely jelly rolls because guess what if you're planning to make virginia star jelly roll just grab two of the jelly rolls from our website and with two of them you're gonna have plenty of fabrics to create this beautiful quilt and you will not have to cut strips you just have to cut the sections start sewing and enjoy 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 you're gonna need the jelly rolls plus your background so you can go to our website and choose your favorite background for your quilt or just purchase this beautiful kit that we already have it prepared for you all right that's enough about what's new and exciting i want to talk to you guys about our mystery are you having fun with the mystery quilt yes please say yes if you don't have fun with the mystery email me because I want to make it fun for you. That is my personal goal in quilting. I want to share my knowledge. I want to share my quilting with you and I want to make sure that you are successful in it. I think that is so much fun to see someone else succeed. I know it's easy to go ahead and make something, but seeing teaching someone and seeing them succeed brings the joy to my life or making a quilt for someone special like I did last week I tell you guys I forgot how much fun it is to just make a quilt for somebody super special mm. I'm gonna be making more of those and one time maybe when we are playing you get to win one of my quilts would you like that wouldn't that be fun but speaking of winning quilts or my quilts, do you know that I have some of my quilts for sale? We have uh, on our website an area where I have posted some of my quilts. There are some of my all the quilts that I have made. They are just beautiful and there you probably would enjoy it. If you don't have time making one, you can go to our website and just get one of my quilts. Now let's talk about mystery. Our mystery we have made beautiful little daisies 
we have made gorgeous bluebells. Look at those bluebells. We have created incredible, beautiful leaves. That's what we start with right there. And now we just finish our pini. Isn't that just so much fun? And one of the questions that we had, there were two questions. How do you cut with Alaska ruler your strip sets? So I took two strips, sewed them together, and now I have to cut sections like this. So I quickly wanted to show you. First of all, you're gonna place your ruler this way, just like this, okay? Perfect. And I'm so glad I did that. And I do this during cutting, I check, because sometimes things pull, push, and they're a little bit off. And you trim, okay? That's per first. Second, you're gonna grab your ruler, rotate. Now you know your strips were, let me look at quickly, there were two and a quarter. So my sections needs to be two and a quarter. And I'm gonna go ahead, look at this, how nicely everything laid. I match one, two, quarter. That's the width right here with my ruler. I match the top. I'm looking at this line and it lays right on my seam. This is my 45 degree line. All of those, those are my 45 degree line. So all that I have to do is go ahead, just grab and cut. And this is how I cut with my Alaska ruler. Isn't that nice and easy? And then I would take two of those and go ahead and sew it together. So just like this. But for more on this, go ahead to our website, go to our YouTube channel, see what I did, download the blog, make sure you have all the directions and go ahead and start making your pieces. It's so super simple. I show you how I go ahead, match it up, pin it. I always flip it gently just to check, pin it, sew it, make my diamonds. This is my diamond, mm, just fell out of my hand. This is my beautiful diamond. And then I go ahead and use a triangle, no Y seams. This is one section. I sew two diamonds, uh, two triangles, one on the top, one on the bottom. This is another section, triangle, big triangle, sewed into the diamond and then do a mirror image, sew everything together and now I have a beautiful block. And one of the most common question was, how do I trim this? How do I trim it? The unfinished size should be um, nine by 12 and a half, nine by 12 and a half. So if I were to trim it, I would gently trim the top and then if I have to square things out, I would focus on the bottom right here to trim MOA if you have to. If your block is too big and you need to go down to nine by 12 and a half, very gently top, hardly anything, because I do not want to sacrifice my points on my flowers. Where here, if I would have have to trim it, no one is gonna notice it because maybe later on something else comes to it and it will cover things up. But also you would not notice if you trimmed it down here. So if you have to trim it down, this is the way it should be. If your block is not a nine by 12 and a half, it's smaller, we need to take a peek at it. Best is make sure your quarter inch seam allowance is the right way and just keep going. And we figured it out later on. There may be adjustment in the pieces that we're gonna be putting everything together that you can accommodate. Do not worry, just keep going, keep making your blocks. You will have a one beautiful mystery quilt and your garden of beautiful flowers of bluebells and um, nine patch daisies will be just blossoming. All right, so that is for today. Do you guys have any questions for me? And before you give me your questions, so thinks about it, 
I want to ask you some questions. Are you excited about it? Especially, I bet everybody is excited about this gorgeous bundle. First question, how many pieces of fabric I have in this beautiful bundle? This is our Coco Blue, and yes, I did tell you how many. This is Coco Blue, so if you know how many pieces of fabric we have in this bundle, i love to hear from you. So please leave us the comment, and you get to win a Fat 8 bundle before it even comes out. Isn't that exciting? So you're going to get the fabrics before even it's available. I'm super excited for you. And the answers are flying in. I am so <laughs> glad. I am so glad. Okay, so what is the answer? And Erin gets to random choose a winner for the bundle. Okay, perfect. Yes, our answers are flying in today. And I'm going to land on Marsha Moeller. And Marsha? Congratulations. Congratulations. Marsha Moeller. 28. Yes. The answer is 28. And Marsha Moeller, please, please email us your address so we can ship this a beautiful bundle to you. Please don't be surprised if there is this big print missing out of your bundle. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. I would never do that. You will get this bundle exactly as it is with all 28 pieces in it. And please have fun. I can't wait to see what you make with that bundle. Now, my second question for today is, how many brand new kits did I show you today? How many and which ones? Let's see if you have listened and pay attention. How many and which one, which kits we have brand new on our website? How many and which one? And for that, uh, you, if you answer that, you get to win a beautiful layer cake from our Coco Pink collection. Beautiful layer cake from our Coco Pink collection. <laughs> Yes. This is actually a great question because I have a lot of people answering how many, but not which one. So I'm going to wait until I see somebody yes. that answers. How many all and three. which one? Which one? What are the? Th <clears throat> how many and which one we have uh, just posted to our website? I showed you some kids, some brand new kids, and I can't wait. Now, I want to share with you something as you answering. Yes, we, I can tell Erin is excited. She's getting so many nice answers. I want to share with you that this group is so nice for a baby quilt. If you want a small, cute little baby quilt for a little girl, oh, these browns and pinks are just so soft and so beautiful. It would look stunning. So. If you want a charm pack, layer cakes, we have them on our website. Yes, do we have a winner? You know, after I thought about it, um, I don't think, oh, yes. Yes? We do. Fantastic. It is Lori P. And, uh, the, answer, and the answer was Virginia Star Jelly Roll, which most people missed. It is the Jelly Roll yes. one. Yes. Uh, oh, no. I'm sorry. Yes. yes, Jelly Roll is the yes. kit, yep. Yeah. And then we have Trip Around um, island. the island and um, Alaska 4th of July. That's right. We had three brand new kits that I showed you today. It was this one, Virginia Star Jelly Roll. That's a brand new kit that we have. We have a beautiful Alaska, this one right here. Let me show you one more time. So this kit right here, the Alaska 4th of July. And then uh, the third one uh, was, which one? Virginia Star, Alaska. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, I and just, the trip around the island. And the trip around yes. the island. I hide a kit for me. <laughs> Shh, don't tell me. Okay, so we have three brand new kits. You can purchase all of those kits on our website. They're loaded right now. We have cut them. We are ready, set, go. There are limited amount of them because we're such a small business. So we uh, really do everything here in our studio by hand, cutting, getting ready. So please, please be patient with us. And if we can get more fabric, we will restock those kits and let you guys know at the next live show. Now, our third question, tell me, where did I travel last week? If you remember where I went last week, you will win a beautiful, beautiful charm pack. Do you guys remember where I went? I went on a little trip. Anybody? What city? Where did I go last week? What city did I go? And by the way, I want to thank all of you guys for posting your pictures 
oh my gosh we're gonna start pulling uh uh, names from different posts you guys are posting your projects it means the world to me to see them please tag us so that way i do get the notification and get to see your projects and enjoy 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 uh, making them but please post pictures so you can win prizes through our instagram facebook and um, i cannot wait to see many of the projects that you're doing from us and the results that you're getting who did win this one? Um, you know, I'm actually gonna go with Babette, Babette Watterson. She went the extra mile. Yes. Pennsylvania and Washington, D.C. I love that, exactly. I went to Pennsylvania and Washington, D.C. Congratulations, Babette. I'm so happy for you. You're gonna receive a beautiful charm pack from us, from our Coco Pink collection. And please don't forget to leave uh, email us your address so we know exactly where to ship it thank you thank you guys for playing i'm so excited for you now it's time for you to ask me questions and we do have quite a few today i'm so excited for questions okay what's um, the first one we have a couple um for our mystery quilt yes and the first one is from helen and she was wondering do you have any um tips for matching up the points she ended up marking the quarter inch spot on the back of the diamond pieces but is there a tip for this step that's exactly what i like to do i go ahead and uh what i like to do is i take my ruler this alaska ruler and place it and you can many times see the point right here but in this case because this didn't have a y seams uh are you talking about matching this point right here or making sure that this point is nice so let's start with this point the best way to do that is you take two pieces together place it right sides together and you estimate that this is a quarter inch seam allowance you can always use your little measuring measuring tool but what i like to do is i turn this piece down then notice what happened then i just gently move it that it matches perfectly and then i go ahead and put a pin and bring that pin back through this way i think the first few you have to use your ruler and measure there is no escape from it just remember and i noticed this with my sewing many times when we measure we put a point and then we stitch right on it and we don't accommodate that it's sewing so the thread lays there and when you open then you need to cover the thread and then things shift just a little bit further down do you see and then they don't match so make sure that when you marking the quarter inch that you stitch onto the right side because then when you turn things around you accommodate to uh, cover that thread so this would be the way how I do it and also I noticed something putting a pin right in that spot putting a pin here and putting a pin here why because as you stitching you come up to the point you pull that first pin this pin is still here once you pull that pin you don't want things to shift so having the pins on each side it's really good idea and also because there's so much bulk here having the pins on each side leaves you a really nice room to stitch so try 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 practice makes perfect too that's i think that's the biggest yeah thank and you try so the, trying few pieces and seeing where this thread lays do you need to move to the right do you need to move to the light to get a really nice point right here for here easy you match with the point lay it down stitch it but anytime i do y seams i use my alaska ruler to mark my points great advice thank you so much you for are that. so welcome so welcome guys um Pooj is wondering yes. can we make the mystery as four different small ones or is it one big quilt mm. guys i'm not supposed to tell you this but maybe maybe i don't know i don't know you are just so clever you're already thinking how you can do things i think you could 
So not to re uh, release too many clues, but there would be multiple layouts and options for you guys. We have multiple colors. There will be uh, fun ideas for your blocks, how to use it and what to do with it. Just wait. So keep making your blocks and um, we will see. We will see. <clears throat> and we did have one more question about mystery from Leanne and she was wondering how long again is the mystery going to be available on the blog? So the mystery, uh, we're going to keep the, um, all the informations on the blog except the PDFs. So you will not be able to download the patterns once the mystery is over. I'm going to give you a few days. I always do it. And some mystery, I kept the patterns on the website. Some I uh, took them off because uh, some of you email us already and you're waiting for the pattern for the mystery. So I think it's not fair that I'm gonna do a pattern and then some people have to pay for it. If you're doing this event, it's free during our mystery. Once the mystery is over, I'm gonna take that pattern away because some of you don't wanna print your own PDFs. You want me to print that pattern for you and ship it to you. So we're gonna be ch uh, turning this mystery again to a beautiful pattern, just like we've done it previously. And I hope you enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. So go now, download what you can right now. Everything is there for you. And uh, thank you so much for playing along with us. Love it. We do have a few more questions yes. if we have time. Okay. Um, we, uh, we had one gal, uh, Jenny, yes. asking, are appliques fused? On the mystery? Um, you know what? She didn't specify. Okay. So but in general, I think uh, for the mystery, I'm going to show you three ways of applique, hand, machine, and fusible. Okay. I did mine with fusible applique and we have the fusible available, but if you want to do your pieces by hand, everything will be there. I will show you, do not worry, but the one I did it is fused and I stitched around the edges with a small zigzag to hide my stitches. And I'm not going to tell you more than that. Perfect. You have to wait <laughs> two more weeks for the applique. Yes. Um, Renee is wondering, are there any plans to do Dallas in Coco pink? Are you kidding me? You're reading my mind. Are you reading my mind? We, yes, 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 and yes, we're going to have it done in cocoa pink. And I also did it in cocoa blue. The version that you're seeing right now on our website is just all different collections. But I also did Dallas in cocoa blue. So yes, we will have both of the quilts. And did I tell you that the next round of shipment for cocoa pink is coming next month? Uh, what is great. We expecting sometimes middle of July to get more of cocoa pink fabric so you can get more borders of all those beautiful pieces. But also, did you hear the most amazing news? And if you are store owner and you are purchasing our fabric for your store, please, please get advantage of it. We have our Primrose collection come out again. That collection was so popular that Endover decide to reprint those fabrics and you will be able to carry them on in your store if you have missed that first shipment and first time they were uh, doing the fabric. So I'm so excited. We already put our order in and I'm going to give you two more things that are coming up. We have two new blocks of the month that are coming in. So there are one, it's a eight point star that it's to die for. And another one is six inch blocks made into a medallion quilt that is just beautiful. So we have two new blocks of the month. They're smaller blocks of the month. You can, uh, we will post all those informations. You can sign for them in next two weeks. We will have that on our website. So if you want a, another block of the month, if you enjoying the one that you have right now and uh, some of the uh, kits that we're going to be doing for our block of the month will be pre-cut kits. So I don't know, maybe you want to do that with us. We see, we see, uh, we will post everything on our website. Now for all the girls that are coming to our retreat, can you imagine countdown to our retreat? We only have uh, just about two and a half months, almost three months to our retreat. I am so excited about our retreat. And guess what? All the girls that are going to the retreat, we have your kids ready too. So we're going to be posting those and letting you guys know about them. So thank you so much. And for anyone that has not been able to sign for our retreat or come to our retreat, 
guess what? I'm working hard. There will be something super special happening for Laundry Basket Quilts and I can't wait to tell you and share more details with you in the future. In the next seven to nine months, you will be hearing about some super fun things that you can do it with us here in Southern California and I am so excited for it. So do we have any other questions? Uh, yeah, one, one last question uh, from Kavaline. She's wondering, for uh, Coco Blue, yes. she's like, can you mention again when it'll be available? And also, are we gonna be able to pre-order bundles? Um, we've never done pre-orders before, but let me see if we can add that to our website so you could pre-order your bundles. I know we're going to have them. We should be receiving that collection in next few weeks. We're really excited. I don't want to give you the exact date. Maybe in next week or two, I will know. So I would let you know on our um, on our live show exact date, but we're we're slowly getting the fabrics. We should have it shortly. I'm super excited for you guys. I would say by the end of July, we will have everything on our website for you Wonderful. to enjoy. Um, one more time, I want to show you the uh, talk about the quilts that I have behind because many of you always ask about that. The quilt right here is our perfect union. This is our cranberry chain, beautiful, ready for 4th of July in blues and reds. We do have this kit on our website, as well as our regular size Virginia star. We do have the mini now that came out and we will have the mini quilts available on our website as well. The one behind me is Family Tree, and I will leave you with that one, hoping that you would enjoy this weekend. Go visit our website, come quilt with us. We have so many fun events, and for anybody that just is starting quilting, I love to teach you how to put two fabrics together and cre create a beautiful, beautiful projects. Happy quilting, and I can't wait to see you next week.